Visiting San Francisco for one day, I'm back with another under 40 food itinerary. So let's go. What is going on everybody? It is a rainy, gloomy day in San Francisco today. So what better to do than to go get some breakfast? And since my last video of San Francisco under 40 was so wildly successful with over a million shares, I'll let you guys go check that out right now to, for proof, of course. I decided to do another one here in San Francisco. So without further ado, before I get to the food, drop a like and a subscribe and a comment because it helps with the algorithm and so other people can see this and get info on where to eat in San Francisco for cheap. So let's go get some food. First stop, the sunset. All right, I made it. I found some great parking. Tip for you if you're not from San Francisco or the Bay Area, if you see a parking spot within like four or five blocks and you don't mind walking, take it. Trust me, because the closer you get, especially like a high profile location, it's gonna be rough. So let's go get some breakfast. All right, sandwich secured. Let's get back to the car. All right, I'm back in the car. I am wet. My glasses are all messed up. If you wear glasses, you know the pain. Glasses and rain do not mix. So I got their breakfast sandwich. This is a special, which comes with two eggs, bacon, avocado, and a garlic lemon aioli. There it is. I know it looks messy, but if you could smell it through the phone, it smells delicious. Let me take a quick little bite for you guys. Oh, and fresh buttermilk biscuits. All right, sorry, I had a phone malfunction midway through my bite, um, but it's fire. Mm-hmm. Mm. I wish Dina was here to try this. Oh, man. I wish Dina was here to try this because it is really, really good. I kind of consider myself a breakfast person, so I love breakfast. I love, I love, excuse me. I love making breakfast sandwiches in the morning for Dina. You can ask her. Um... So I love trying out new ones and getting ideas. And for a, so this came out to $10 flat. And on Sunday, they make beignets, which if you don't know what that is, you can Google it. But it's like a donut with like powdered sugar and stuff. And they're a dollar on Sundays. I already took a bite of this one. Don't worry, it didn't come <laughs> halfway eaten. So I'm gonna try it for you guys. I already had it over there because it was nice and warm and I had to put it in my pocket. But um, yeah, here goes beignet. Mm. That's really, really good. They're only a dollar. Get like 10 and take them to your friends and stuff and just be like, hey, here, I was thinking of you. Cause you know, people who doesn't like thoughtful beignets. And a little tip, apparently you're not supposed to breathe in or out. Like don't stop breathing. But you're not supposed to breathe in or out when you take it by the beignet because the powder will go everywhere or you'll choke or something. Anyways, breakfast sandwich from Devil's Teeth Baking here on Noriega in the sunset. My advice is you get a breakfast sandwich, 10 bucks. Grab a coffee if you like, but for this video, you grab the sandwich for $10 and then you take a walk down on the beach, sit on a little bench on a nice day, not an ugly day like this and enjoy a sandwich and watch the beach, you know, just hang out enjoy the nice 60 65 degree weather when it's when it gets like that and enjoy so devil's teeth baking ten dollar sandwich let's go to our next location all right so i can't lie as soon as i stopped recording i finished the sandwich it was really really good and as an added bonus i'm now gonna go get some coffee from another one of my favorite coffee spots here in the city they have multiple locations around town i think upwards of like maybe like seven or eight but i don't know for sure but it's Phil's Coffee. I'm at, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm headed over to the one on Ocean here on by Ingleside. So let's go get some coffee and get a little midday boost. All right, the rain is really picking up. I got my coffee. <sighs> Phil's Coffee. I got a cold brew. Um, I just got it black, but you can get it with cream and sugar. But I like it black, just like my soul and heart that was left on the ground on a rainy day. Sorry, don't know what happened there. Um, but yeah, this was $4 for a medium. So now we're up to $14. I was gonna leave it out, but I was like, you know what? I'm a man of the people. I don't like to lie. And every once in a while you need a coffee in the middle of the day. 
So I wanna try to fit it into that $40 budget. So we're up to $14, $10 breakfast burrito at Devil's Teeth, $4 coffee at Phil's, and let's go, let's finally go to our next location and grab some lunch. All right, lunchtime. We are in the Tenderloin, and as the name suggests, yes, it is very tender here. And parking is not very tender here as well, so uh, do your best, bring some change to pay the meter. And uh, yeah, let's go hit up Saigon Sandwiches, a San Francisco classic for a deal. All right, that's it. Package was secured, $4.75 each. And I got two because I got my mom with me, but $4.75. Where else are you gonna get a deal like that in San Francisco for a bomb sandwich? I don't know, you tell me, shoot. That, I mean, if you got it, you let me know in the comments below all the good cheap prices. But anyways, 475, so that bumps us up to about 20 bucks and we still got $20 to play with for lunch. Can you believe it? I can, because that's why I'm here. So let's go to our next spot for dinner. Forgot to show you guys what it looks like. And that's it. The top one is a pate pork and the bottom one is the chicken. And they both look super good, although they didn't come cut, so. That kind of sucked, but fire nonetheless. Hey mom, what do you think? Out of 10, what do you give it? 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah, because the price, the price is good. And the flavor is so good. Okay, thank you. I'm getting my veggies too. All right, so the final stop for dinner is Bart Grocery. Um, I know technically it is located in Daly City, but it is literally just the one city over and it is such a good deal that um, I just want to put you guys on if you don't know already. If you're from the area, I'm sure you already know, but uh, their food is fire, prices are good, and the portions are fat. So even if um, the price is a little, little higher than you might want, you will be stuffed. Is it enough for two people? I promise. So let's go. but good all right that wraps up my second my part two of my san francisco under four my san francisco under 40 deals uh breakfast devil's teeth ten dollars then you gotta grab a coffee from pete's or sorry grab a coffee from phil's four dollars you grab a sandwich from saigon sandwiches for 475 and then last you'll you go to bar grocery you get yourself a nice little plate of bulgogi chicken pork whatever you like for twelve dollars that puts us at around 30.75 total and that leaves you with about 10 bucks to play with you know grab another coffee you want a boba like i said in the last video or you just grab some more food but like i said under 40 bucks thanks for watching i appreciate it subscribe like all that good stuff and i'll catch you in the next video peace